Codename Mephistopheles. Or How Computer Programming Changes Everything. Preface. The text that follows is a snippet out of the life of a lonesome programmer. It has been captured in hopes of showing you that programming can be roughly understood. It isn't even that intimidating, and even programmers often discover new terms. And towards the end of the poem, I show that software has the power to crush poverty. Code name Mephistopheles. I'm working on a visual programming language that will help young people escape poverty. It is a zooming user interface that uses a box and cable approach to connect things together. The small applications within use a tree data structure, but this is not an ordinary tree. It is a signal tree, where everything about it notifies subscribers of changes when some part of the tree is updated. This means that the user only needs to work with the tree alone to create entire user interface applications with automatic data binding and reactivity. Today, I have completed a test of a small upgrade to HTML by means of web components. For those of you in the know, it is somewhat reminiscent of XSLT, but much more friendly. I introduced the concept of a data-driven application, a loop, and a print statement. The loop and print are bound to signals, so again, when the values that those signals wrap change, the UI automatically updates. Fantastic! Today's milestone was specifically about updating attributes of existing HTML elements. And as with XSLT, I just nest an attribute element. But here I have a function or a macro that can update all the surrounding elements. This was very simple to implement. It only took maybe a couple of lines of code. More importantly, because custom elements work on the very bottom of the document object model, I can nest them, which means I get recursion for free. All I do is create a loop element, and then I can nest loops within just like in a standard programming language. HTML is very powerful now. All of this sounds a little bit confusing for people who are new to programming, but this is just a handful of concepts that almost beat large application frameworks. There isn't really much more to add, and it's extremely powerful. In larger application frameworks, programmers kind of feel blind as to what the code does. Just this morning, for example, I saw Svelte parsing HTML with regular expressions. That is a no-no. As always, I do expect challenges in my program, but thus far the undertaking has been doing really well and I'm pretty much done with it. It is not thanks to me or anything like that, it just shows how well the wiser technologies are advancing. The browser is becoming more capable day by day. I don't have a very clear aim where I want this project initially. Part of me wants to create a browser extension with a programmable dashboard. But knowing that browser vendors cannot help but to push more ads and violate privacy, a desktop application based on a browser sounds better every day. In fact, it could very well be a programmable browser. 
Inside a browser extension, Mephistopheles would let the user reprogram web pages. But on the desktop, users could generate applications. Sometimes, or perhaps most times, application code that has nothing to do with Mephistopheles. A user would build small tools in Mephistopheles, but then generate whatever they are working on with them. A selection of starter templates and matching tools would go a long way to help with delivering products fast. While Mephistopheles is an application platform, a kind of an operating system, what it really does is code. It helps to visually manage code, which would mean that from a functional perspective, it's a visual code editor. There is only one design principle that I want to follow. And at first, as you blaze the trails, it is quite challenging. The principle is that of minimalism and simplicity. Now the interesting part. The precise method of money-making that I hope to enable here is actually three different things. First and foremost, I aim to generate UI kits and website templates, as there are multiple online stores that sell user interface components, and sometimes, and especially now with the aid of AI, these things can sell rather well. What makes Mephistopheles' components special enough for an actual purchase are the visual tools that it will provide that will then make pretty UI design very easy and neat. Some of the little apps that this project will ship with may for example replace the need for storybook, need component preview and testing framework. I will involve AI in the process, both code and image generation, so this alone is already quite interesting. A few sales per month on a large marketplace could bring in probably somewhere around a hundred dollars after everyone gets their cut. Of course, young people have higher standards than that, which is where the second generator comes in. The Mephistopheles user will have the option of generating a marketplace for their website components and UI kits, similar to websites like Envato or Rap Bootstrap. Because everything is already wrapped in a visual programming language, there would not be a need for complex administration area and extra tooling. Rather than creating an application that accepts various configuration directives, Mephistopheles would just generate server code that works a very specific way. This would be a marketplace for more than just website design components, as it could also sell applications. I should pause here and add that a marketplace that is stocked with UI kits and website templates and such can be sold at an auction, since all the software that it is selling has a beautiful program that can manage all the details, the code here is not a large liability. Which brings us to the third and final function, Mephistopheles users creating applications with the components they designed. Seeing that something as simple as Svelte or Angular became a tangled mess of TypeScript madness and unnecessary complexity, I think my tiny application framework would be one of the starting templates here. Ultimately, everything just comes down to minimalism and simplicity. If all the users have to do to design their applications is edit a tree and with a user interface similar to Windows Explorer, perhaps with a sprinkle of Apple Automator, 
then why bother with more complex frameworks, though that option would always be there. Perhaps Yaoman could be used to deliver the base templates, as it is a nice scaffolding tool and code generator. Mephistopheles is just a temporary code name for the project, though I am starting to like it a lot. I may need to find something shorter eventually. For me personally, aside from helping the world, the project is about learning. There is far more to web technologies than people realize. The rise of TypeScript, a rather large mistake, and other questionable technologies like JSX or even RxJS, shows that too much has been glossed over. New inventions should not make code unmaintainable. No addition to any language should ever interfere with its abstract syntax tree or metaprogramming capabilities. Ultimately, as always, only minimalism and simplicity will triumph and stand the test of time.